In addition to skeletons and rigid bodies, there's a third option for linking together markers for recordings, called marker sets. It combines the strengths of both by allowing flexible movement, but a grouping of whatever is required. One application this is great for is hand tracking. As of this recording, the best method is to apply it to a recording. So get your subject out there and record whatever you want to see. For our recording, we decided to label and track this hand. Keep in mind the layouts of rigid bodies and give dots unique positions to help in the recording of the markers. Once the recording is finished, go to the edit layout. On the correct recording, create a new marker set of whatever title you wish. Then click the five dots to open the marker set pane. Once there, select your newly created marker set and create a label for each marker being tracked in the recording. I recommend giving them names and unique color groupings as well. Now comes the fun part, as you must go through the recording and correctly label each of the markers into the marker set. This part is done entirely through the labeling pane. Depending on recording quality and spacing of markers, this might take a while. If you haven't already, I recommend watching the basic editing tutorial, as it will help on filling in missing points in the data. Once you switch from large to small corrections, I recommend selecting the specific area in question to avoid accidentally correcting the entire recording. Once you have all markers correctly labeled, make sure to save and export your project correctly and you're good to go.